Thank you, Madam Speaker Pro Tem. And I'll be brief. I actually wasn't going to come down and talk, <laughs> Representative Kip. But uh, um, this is important. And I stand in strong support of House Resolution 1004. And I really want to thank the sponsors, Representative Tipper and Representative Exum, for bringing this forward. Um, I've heard some disagreement on some of the parts of this resolution. And I've heard some disagreement on uh, what should be included and what shouldn't be included. Should we have the federal government do this or the federal government do that? But I didn't see any amendments on any of those ideas. I saw amendments calling into question, calling to support Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters. When we're talking about election fraud and putting our elections at risk, calling on supporting County Clerk Tina Peters seems contrary to that idea. I didn't hear ideas on amending the resolution to really lifting up the, the Colorado system more. I saw amendments calling in support of the millions of people who stormed the Capitol on January 6th. The resolution as introduced before you wasn't partisan, wasn't political, but man, those amendments were. In Colorado, we cannot remain silent. Did you see those amendments? The choice is clear. The choice is clear between the two groups of elected representatives in this building today. You have a choice. We are telling you that your ability to vote is under threat. It is in these words right here. It is. There was an amendment run on the House floor of the State House of Representatives here in Colorado to question whether or not President Biden is our duly elected president. Holy moly. We cannot remain silent. We cannot remain silent. Colorado, America, listen up. This is serious. Your threat, you are under threat. Your ability to vote is under threat. Go pull those records of who voted for those amendments. This couldn't be more serious. This couldn't be more pertinent to the state of Colorado and the work that we do. I stand in strong support of 1004. Every Coloradan should stand in strong support of 1004, and I urge all of you to vote yes.